What's going on guys? Justin Fuller here. Today I'm out at Colleen Ford and we're getting them set up with all three of True Spots products. What does that mean? It means they're gonna be able to track their keys and their cars anywhere on their retail lot. They're gonna be able to track keys and cars through their service department. And then lastly, they're gonna be able to see cars through the recon process. Not only see them, but see how long they spend in each step and the overall process so that they can track those keys and cars down and manage the process better. So let's hop on in and show you what it looks like. your keys and your cars on your campus, you're gonna have to first set up a network and that's where we come into play. The first thing we're gonna use is this what's called a solar powered gateway. So we're gonna hook these up around the lot. You'll typically see them on light poles, kind of like the one right back here behind me. And these are gonna allow the network to talk so you can see those keys and those cars as they float around on the exterior of the lot. Now inside the building, we're gonna use an interior gateway, right? So I'm gonna use a whole bunch of these, however many it takes to make sure we have good coverage of your lot so that you can see those keys and cars as they float around inside the building. So whether it's inside the showroom, whether it's in a service bay, wherever that key might live, even down to a key machine or a pegboard that you have them living on. So once you got all these connected up, they're gonna to talk to a base station. That base station is gonna allow you to see where anything's living on our dashboard, whether you're using the app, using a tablet, or using the desktop dashboard. All right guys, so let's go through some of the hardware that we use to track the keys and cars as they float around the lot. And while I'm mentioning that, you can track more than just keys and cars, and I'll explain how that works with this piece right here. So for keys, this is what we're using, right? So they happen to use a key track system. So I've connected this up to the key fob, right? So when they cut off these keys and sell that car, they can connect up a new set of keys and start tracking that one. So you can reuse these over and over and over again, right? So this is what we use to track keys. Now, if you wanna track something other than a key, let's talk about maybe jump boxes, golf carts, golf cart keys, dealer tags are a big one. You can use these for those other items. And I'll explain a little bit more of that when we hop into the uh, phone app and the desktop dashboard. But I want you to know that this can work outside of the norms of just keys and cars. So this is what we use for keys. Now, when it comes to cars, I have a few different devices that you can use. The first being my standard tag, right? So standard tag, just like this, throw it around the rear view mirror. It allows you to track the vehicle, right? Now, not only do I offer it in a standard setup where you can just track the vehicle, I also offer this with an accelerometer in it. So if theft is an issue, you can get these motion sensing tags where if this moves in the middle of the night and somebody's trying to steal Cadillac converters, they're trying to slide the wheels, maybe they're trying to steal the whole dang car, you're gonna get that alert, that push notification so that you can either alert your security company, pull up your cameras, or just call the police, right? So I offer this in two different versions. Now, outside of that, I've also got an OBD2 device right here uh, that we can use. So this will allow you to track on the campus and off the campus. So if you're looking for something like that, I'll actually throw a link up on the screen. Uh, Jackie Jones Ford uh, out of Tennessee, Sweetwater, Tennessee uses these to track their vehicles. Now, the guys here at Clean Ford are using Apex. Apex is a sell-through product uh, that's gonna allow them to track their vehicles on the lot, but when they leave the lot, it allows you to track them as well. And this is a product they can sell through F&I to their customer base. Now, we happen to integrate with Apex, which means when you're using our platform, uh, whether you're using the phone app or the desktop dashboard and you search out a stock number, it's gonna show you where the keys are because we've got the key tag, but it's gonna show you where that car is because we integrate with Apex. So you're gonna be able to see that. So that's what these guys happen to be doing. Uh, so they have the ability to sell this product through, uh, but also use our tags to manage stuff while it's on the lot. So now that we've seen that, let's hop into the phone app and go over what a search looks like and how do I connect up key tags to specific cars. All right guys, so here we are on the Ford Stores app, right? And I wanna walk you through two very important things. One, how do I run a search? How do I find keys, cars, golf carts, you know, dealer tags, gas carts, anything that I wanna tag? And then secondarily, how do I connect up these tags specifically to a car, specifically to a key, to a dealer trade, to a, you know, a golf cart, whatever the item may be. So I wanna show you how to connect these up, how easy it is to do from the phone app, right? So we're gonna start off with the find a key and find a car button, that very first button, I'm gonna to touch it. Now in here, it's gonna pull up your inventory feed. What's cool about this is it presents me with all of it. I have different searches I can run. I can search by stock number, VIN. Uh, I can go by year, make, and model, uh, depending on how I wanna run the search, or I can search by free. Free meaning like when I jump in here, you'll see these three tabs across the top. Free is like, I wanna search for convertibles. I wanna search for something specific, right? An item or something of that nature, right? So on here, you can see this very first car has nothing in the icon section, so nothing's been tagged. This secondary one, perfect example, both keys have been tagged, but not the vehicle yet, right? So maybe this car just came in. So as you scroll down here, you can see what's been tagged in their inventory currently and what hasn't. So I can see what is and isn't tagged, right? So it's not only gonna show me just one section. So now that we're at these, these Buicks, right? All of these three cars have been tagged. The key's been tagged and the car's been tagged. Now I can tell that the spare hasn't been tagged, right? But you can understand that you could do that as well. I can tag more than one key. So I'm gonna jump into this 2019 Buick. 
It's going to immediately show me where the car is living and tell me. The location that you can see right above the screen says Certified North Lot. And that's what they've named this yellow geofenced area that this car is living in. Right? So I can see where the car is at on the map. Right? And now I'm, I'm zoomed out enough. You can see where the key and the car is at. So from this, I immediately know as a sales guy, hey, it's on the Certified Lot. This is where it's at on the lot. Now, secondarily, I can hit that next button and jumps over to the key. Same thing, location in the certified cells building in the key track machine as we speak. So I can see that it's in the building, but it's telling me in the key machine, right? So if I greet the customer at the front door, they mention the stock number, I pull it up here, I immediately know, okay, car's out on the lot, boom, keys, uh, keys in the key machine. Okay, cool, let me grab the key real quick and we'll walk out together. Versus if it was poor weather and I'm like, ah, hold on, the car's kind of far away or it's parked somewhere, I don't want them walking. Um, or, or, or maybe they're older, right? You know, or whatever the case may be, think about how more efficient and how better I can handle my customer base knowing these things immediately, right? If the key's not in the key machine, but it was somewhere in in the building, it just said certified sales building, right? And I'm like, well, it's in, a, it's in here and I'm over near it and I can tell that there's a bunch of stuff around it. I can hit this find a tag button and now it'll start pinging that tag, right? Which I'm not there, but it would start pinging this key tag. And as I get closer to it, a white ball in the middle will get closer in this darker blue section. And as I get further away to go into the red, so this way I can start walking around, it'll walk me right up to a desk, um, you know, and I can find it. If I was outside on the lot, you know what I mean? I was running this, I can hold my phone up against the uh, the glass and I can see if the key is in the car, if I got out on, if the, you know, if it was out on the lot kind of thing. Or if it's in the key machine, but it's not registered, I can hold this to each drawer until it says immediate and then boom, I know where it's at. So this gets real granular when it comes to keys, guys, so you'll be able to find them really easy. So that's how to run a search, how to find a key, how to find a car or anything else that you might type in there, you know, whether it be a gas card or anything that you have saved in the system. Now let's jump into the secondary part and that's gonna be, how do I connect up to a tag, to a key, to a car, to a golf cart, to a, you know, gas card, a dealer card, whatever the item may be. So on this sake, we're gonna go to that true tag management button, second one down. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. Now on here, from this point, I would just select the vehicle. So if it's something already living in the inventory feed, like this 21 Audi Q5, it's easy enough. There's a car button to connect a car tag and a key button to connect the key tag, right? In these purple, this purple bar right here. So for the sake of this, just to start, I wanna show you that, right? So key tag, touch key tag button. Now from there, I can either type in, on the back of the tag, you'll see all of these numbers and letters. I can start typing that in or there's a QR code you can see right here. Well, in that search bar, I can hit that QR button. I can scan my QR code, right? Get my, my tag here lined up. So once I've connected up, I'm not gonna connect it up since this is a live dealership, right? Boom, keys connected up. Now I wanna do the car, no big deal. Hit the car button right next to it, we'll do the same thing, right? So hit the car button, I'm gonna hit the QR reader on here, and then I'm gonna come down to the tag and just scan the tag, boom, and then hit connect, right? I'm not gonna connect this since it's a live dealership. Now, let's say it's something that doesn't live in the inventory feed yet. It's a trade, it's a dealer plate, it's a gas card, uh, it's a jump box, something I wanna add in, right? I could come up here and do like gas card, which these guys already do their gas cards, but it's a perfect example of, you know, I would type in something that I wanna add in, uh, now it's presenting me and showing me their gas card, right? So perfect example of this is if, if the gas card's already done, well then I can just search out the gas card, right? And then find out where it's at or add a tag to it. Uh, but if it was something, so let's say it was gas card, you know, Justin, right? I had my specific own gas card. Well, I would prompt this and would say, hey, this isn't currently in the system, would you like to add it? Boom, I'll add it as a stock number immediately after I add it, right? Which I'm not gonna do, it'll appear as one of these items you're seeing on the screen. And then from there, hit the key button, connect up my key tag. Very easy to connect up the tag, guys. So I can do this literally with trades when they come in, right? Pull these off the car I'm selling to them. I can immediately connect this up to the trade. Just type in that stock number for the trade or the whole VIN. And then when it lands in the inventory feed, it'll merge those items, guys. So very easy to do. Uh, and if I want to track anything that isn't a key, isn't a car, something that doesn't live in an inventory feed, I can still do it. All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop dashboard, and I want to walk you through a couple things. I'm not going to go through everything, but so let's be honest, that's what a demo's for. Set one up with me. Let's talk about your store, right? But I want you to understand what you're seeing. So at the far left of the screen, you can see the search bar over there, and there's all these different filters, all these different ways, so I can search multiple vehicles at once, and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Up top, you're going to see all these green graph bars, right? Now, the large numbers is what is tagged. Below it, you can see the remaining, you can see what isn't tagged. So I can click on one of these, and it presents me the list of what is tagged, and I can click on it, and it'll present me with what isn't tag so very cool that is managing this process i can understand uh you know and, and see hey what isn't tagged i can turn off maps right and look in here and start filtering by hey how many days is this carbon in inventory why isn't it tagged that sort of thing so managing the process very easy to do guys now right now i have all of this this yellow area and this is the geofenced off areas of the network that we created right so we lay the network around and then we geofence off these areas and name them based off of what you tell us so, you know, earlier we were looking at a, 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 you know, a Buick, right? That was living in like the, I think it was like the certified West lot, right? So you can see it down here in this bottom corner. Uh, and then we could see where the building was, the certified building over here, right? So that's what that Buick Encore that we were looking at. So you can understand where it was living in relation to the phone app versus this kind of up view, right? 
Now, on here, right now, it's giving me all these numbers, and this is how many vehicles are currently living in that section. I can also turn on the pins and see all of those vehicles, right? So, very powerful in understanding where all my vehicles at, right? Now, I'm gonna do one better. If at the end of the night, as a manager, I wanted to look at every single key I have and understand, you know, are they all back in the building? How powerful is this as a closing tool, guys? Look what I can see. I can see keys that are sitting out on the lot as we speak. So if I'm shutting down, or if it's just the middle of the day and I check this and I go, hey man, why do I got a key randomly back here in this lot behind all the buildings, right? Why do I have one over here in the Ford and Hyundai uh, back lot? There's just a key living back there. Now, right now, there may be somebody walking around with that key or back there doing something, but at the end of the night, everything should make it back in the building, right? It should be somewhere protected, kind of like the, uh, the service center over here, right? You can understand how that works. So closing duties, this is awesome. So let's talk about opening duties, right? How can I use this for an opening duty, right? Well, what I wanna do is come across here and there's all these different like metrics that I can access up here. So I'm gonna jump across here and there's a last sightings tab, right? So I'm gonna drop this down here. So you can see all these different tabs. So for over to the far right, there's a last sightings tab. And I can click on this and say, hey, show me everything in the last 72 hours that hasn't been seen, right? And it'll present me with a list over here of all of the vehicles that we haven't seen in the last 72 hours, right? So either they've been tagged, they've been untagged, they haven't been tagged, or they've been tagged and left the lot and we haven't seen them. They haven't made it back, right? Well, it's great that I can pull up this list and we could go through it and go, okay, did I loan this car out? Are we in the process of selling it? What's going on with it, right? Because I can click into these cars, go in here and go, all right, is there a note in here? Is there an activity? When did it leave, right? Is there a geo departure time and date? That sort of thing, so we can start understanding that. But what if I could take that one step further? What if I could go into the back office and select a user, right? I come in here and I select Philip, for example. Now, if I go to missing vehicle alerts here, the one I've highlighted and click this, each morning at 7 a.m., Philip will get an email of every single vehicle that we haven't seen in this amount of time. Now, I can set that threshold to anything you want. So if you want it in the last eight hours, 10 hours, 12, 24, whatever you want, we can set that email up so that in the morning, Philip gets that email as an opening duty for a manager. He could pull it up and go, okay, let me just go through this list of cars. Do I have loaner paperwork? Did we loan it out? Is it out for a recall, something specific? Or, you know, do we potentially have theft on our hands here? Or did somebody loan it out and not fill out the paperwork? Now I'm managing my people better, right? So an excellent way to use this for an opening duty. All right, guys, do you have a photo booth guy, whether he's outsourced or he's in-house? What if I told you you could help this guy be more efficient and manage him better, right? Up here at the top in one of those boxes I was pointing out, there's a photo status. So you can see 594 cars have photos of them, 698 don't, right? And that's because we're looking at all four dealerships here on the lot. So I could click on that remaining balance and it'll present me over here with a list of all the cars that don't have photos taken yet, right? So this is gonna make it very easy for this guy to come through here and see one, a list of everything that he needs to take photos of, and then two, you know, he can come down and click on one and go, okay, this 22 Honda Santa Fe, right? Boom, I click on it, well, where's the car at? All right, well, the car's in the back over at service. So he can see this, whether he's using the phone app or he's using the desktop dashboard, he can see where the car is at, he can click on the key and go, boom, it's in the uh, service max, which is, you know, their service center, and the key is with the photo booth right now, right? So he, he literally is taking care of this as we speak. He's got the key to it, he's got the car parked out there, he just needs to take the photos and get them set up. Now once he does, the way this is set up is, you pick a threshold, whether it's five photos, 10 photos, 15 photos, if it has more than that, it won't show up on this list. If it doesn't, it will. So we can make your photo booth guy so much faster, right? He can find the keys, he can find the cars, he can get the pictures, and he has a list every day of what he needs to take photos of because it's always landing in your inventory feed. Now I'll take it one step further. What if I could turn off the map for a second, look at this, and then sort by days over in the far right, which you may not be able to see, but I can sort by days and go, okay, there's a bunch of cars that are like five and 10 days old, but what about these cars that are 41 days old down here in the middle, right? You know, some of these are like 40 days old. Why haven't you got to them yet? Right, is there a note in here that there's something going on with it? it? got sent out for a recall, it's not here physically, it's part of a trade, but the new car hasn't come in yet, so we're kind of holding off. Whatever the situation, you can manage and understand what they're doing in the process, right? So a great way to manage your photo booth guy. All right, inventory managers, used car sales managers, listen up, because you're gonna like this one. Up here, there is a tab that says days in inventory. So for anybody trying to sell used vehicles or new vehicles that are aging, right? Any of my sales managers, any of my sales guys who are trying to make spiffs, what if not only I could click on this and go, show me everything that's 90 days old in a list over here, but then on top of that, what if I could turn on the pins and see where every single one of them is sitting, right? So they got 51 vehicles uh, that are gonna be landing in this list, and not all of them are tagged, right? But most of them are. I can see where all these cars are. So how, how does that powerfully uh, affect things? One, I know where they're at. Why aren't they selling? Well, maybe they're not selling because it's sitting over here to the back of a building or in an odd spot, or it's been misparked where it's you know a certified Hyundai, but it's sitting over the Ford side, right? I can start to understand where are my old age units 
because location sometimes greatly affects the possibility of sales. If I can get them in front of more eyes in a high trafficked area, I can sell them better, right? So when it comes to old age units, know that not only can I get a list of everything that's old age right here, but two, I can see where they're living at on my map and understand, hey, do I need to move these around? Do I need to stack them all together uh, so that my, my guys selling cars can walk out and be like, hey, if you need more flexible payments, these are a list of cars that I can work with you a little bit better on, right? Now I'm affecting the sales process. So a fantastic way to look at your old age units. All right, guys, so here's a great one for my new car managers and my inventory managers. So what I've done here is I've run a search over here on the left side and I've searched out all of my Ford Mustangs. So from an inventory manager standpoint, I wanna be able to look on this map and understand where are all my Ford Mustangs, right? My Specifically my 2021 Ford Mustangs. And I can see that most of them are kind of sitting where they should, but what about this one over here? Or what about this one living way back in the back of the service parking lot, right? As an inventory manager, I wanna keep them all nice and tight, keep them all lined up together. This makes them easier to sell, easier to manage, right? So from an inventory manager standpoint, Look how easier I just made this. I don't have to send a lot porter to walk around, find cars, write them down, come back in, grab keys, go grab them, move them. And then half the time he's hunting for the key and the car. I just eliminated all that, right? He can click on this and know where the key and the car is at. So inventory management, wow, look at what I can do. Very powerful. Secondarily, let's talk about what if I have a specific incentive going on, right? Let's say my Ford Mustangs, I have a bunch of money coming back. And right now I can make really big grosses on these cars and I really want to sell them. Well, how powerful is it to know that, okay, I can see every 2021 Ford Mustang I have here. What if I put them all in one row here on the map, put hang tags on them, hang balloons from them, and go, ask me about these cars. Let me sell you a Mustang. Let me see, you know, whatever your marketing tactic is, right? Now I've got them all lined up to where I can push these cars harder. I want to get them in front of more eyes because me, the dealership, me, the sales manager, who's probably making a percentage off these sales, can make more money off these deals versus another car I may have to give away, right? Just to get them off the lot. You know, my purple Eco Sport, you know, Ford Focus that maybe I can't get rid of. Ah, I'm gonna have to do some willing and dealing on that one, but these I can really make some high value on. This is a great way to look at your inventory, either from a growth standpoint or from just general inventory management, making sure everything is nice and tight. All right, guys, so that's the quick breakdown to tracking keys, cars, dealer plates, dealer tags, gas cards, golf carts, pretty much anything that you want to track using the True Spot Lot Management 360 tool. I would love to set up a demo. I'd love to talk about your store. Everybody's got that what if scenario or the, hey man, I've got a parking garage that I have to work with, or hey, I've got spillover lots. I've got four or five of them, or hey man, uh, I've got a recon center. Then all the cars go out from the recon center out to all these stores. Can we set it up to where we can see where everything is? Yes. Yes to all those things. I've actually done most of those things with dealerships already. If you want to talk about, hey, man, I don't really need to track my cars. I just need to track my keys. I can do that. I just want to do keys, not really cars. We can do that too. Hey, man, I'm more interested in the service, the fixed stop side of things. Okay, well, let's look at it, right? Or, hey, man, how does this apply to recon? I know you mentioned that, but I'd really love to see a demo of the recon process and how you can use all this location-based service to track cars as they move through your process. I can do that as well. We can talk about all kinds of different things, guys. I'm gonna throw my information up on the screen so you can give me a call, you can give me a text, you can shoot me an email, we can set up a demo. All of this will be in the description of the video as well and at the end of the screen. I want you to have an easy way to, to reach out. If you wanna ask a question, you just wanna get a rough idea for pricing, you can give me a call. You really wanna get a good idea, let's set up a demo. Give me a little bit of info so we can build out some pricing that will make sense, something you can present to the right person. I'd be more than happy to help you out with that. It doesn't need to be a secret, guys. It's pretty easy. So feel free to give me a call, text, email. Love to talk to you about your store, what makes it unique, what struggles you're having, and how we can work around those and make things better. I wanna make you more efficient. I wanna save you money. And, and, and let's be honest, I just wanna make a better customer experience for all of your customer base. So give me a call, text, email. Let's talk about your store. Other than that, appreciate you tuning in. Talk to you later. Later, guys!